All right, we are back. Candace Bergen and Diane Weister here. The movie is Let Them All Talk. It premieres Thursday on HBO Max. Had either of you worked with Meryl Streep before? Yes. Nope. Uh, you know, in the Pleistocene era, we did a movie <laughs> together um, called um, Falling in Love. And yes. Meryl and Bobby De Niro. And I was Meryl's friend in the movie. So I had actually worked with her, but really hadn't seen her since, you know? Wow. So wow. it was incredible to work with her. Again. And did you all, sh you shot this film on a cruise ship, right? No, it, no. it's, we don't call it a cruise ship. What I mean, we it has done cruises, but this is a crossing from New York to England okay. is a crossing. And it's the most magnificent ship you've ever seen. It is fantastic. Wow. And hey, Brucey. and were you, is that your dog? Yeah. Oh, and is that, uh, and so you were on the crossing shooting. I mean, this must have been incredibly fun to shoot. It was fantastic, right, Diane? I mean, uh, I, I almost thought that. Yeah. Yeah, I do it again and in a You imagined it. Right. It was so fast. In 10 days, he shot an entire movie. Wow. And it's pretty good. Wow, that's great. Uh, well, you know, Candace, you were the first woman to ever host SNL back in 1975. You went on to host the show five times. Uh, and I, I have questions for you. And in preparation for you coming on, I. I looked on Peacock, which is the new streaming service that NBC started, and they have every episode of SNL in the entire last 40 wow. whatever year run. And I went back and I looked at your first few episodes, which were so fun to watch. And then you can go through the 80s and see the different hosts and see how the yeah. show changed. It, it's really fascinating to, to scroll yeah. through. Out of all of the sketches that you appeared in, do you have a most favorite um, or most memorable? You know, the ones that I remember the best are, I think, in the first or second show that I did with Danny Aykroyd and John Belushi. And we, the three of us were in a sketch that was sort of like uh, Casablanca and I was in a fedora. Yes. And they did it in black and white. And, and I, you know, it was really fun in those days to work with Belushi and Danny. That was that was uh, that was the opener of your second episode that Casablanca scene. What was the vibe like backstage that first year at SNL? Was it was it carefree? Was it cokey? What what was it? It started being sort of marijuana based and they realized in a second that the show was almost impossible to produce. And to do it stoned on grass made it just a lost cause because you'd be backstage. You have literally split second costume and right. changes and makeup changes. So that's so when the they, coke when, came in. That's when the coke came in. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Who, and what, what was it like working with Belushi? He was, he could be very charming. He was very charming um, in those days. And then, and then he came over once a few years later with some friends and, and he came over one night and, and all of them were stoned in a way that wasn't really fun. handleable. It, it, yeah, right. it wasn't fun. Right. And, and I was sort of in, in the kitchen backed into a corner and thinking, okay, time to leave now, you guys, let's wow. go. Um, Chevy Chase is notoriously challenging to work with. Did you witness any drama behind the scenes in that regard? I I, I didn't. He, he was lovely to work with for me, but... And were the after parties great? In the first years, they were a big deal. And, and I mean, people would show up at the parties and, and if you were a guest host, you really wanted to be there because the show had such energy and such buzz and um, nobody had seen anything like it before. Wow. I mean, the fact that Lauren has sustained that show is really impressive. Yeah, it is. All right, well, thank you very much for uh, 
for indulging me there. I'm wondering, Diane, as we look back at your at all of your roles, do you have a favorite film that you've been in or one that means the most to you? That's probably a very difficult question. Uh, you know what? It's the one I, I did with Steven Soderbergh and Candace Bergen and Meryl Streep. <laughs> it's my absolute favorite. Wow. My absolute favorite. The filming of it, the people in it, the way it was done. I just wish that all of my films had been done that way. Wow. That's yeah, incredible. I'm lucky at my age, at the end, right? Oh. <laughs> the best one. When you... Yeah. When you first read the script for Hannah and her, and her sisters, did you realize right when you read it that, that that was as special as it became? No, I read it and I couldn't quite believe he was going to give me that role. And I wondered if there was a mistake. <laughs> and, um, I, and, and I told all the people in the office there at his screening room how much I loved it. And then I went home, and then uh, the next morning, Juliet Taylor, Woody's casting director, called, and she said, well, Woody wants to know if you like the movie, like the screenplay. And I realized I just hadn't told him. And so he thought maybe I didn't want to do it. Wow. And so, you wow. know, get me a polo mallet. Let me hit myself over the head. Wow, that's it. That's amazing. Um, well, I'm very excited about the new movie, and I love hanging out with you guys, and I, I really appreciate you, you doing the show. Um, and thank you for coordinating your, your rooms and your outfits. It's actually incredible. <laughs> um, the movie is Let Them All Talk. It premieres Thursday on HBO Max. Thank you so much. Thanks, audience. For more, thank click you, around Bravo TV. TV.